Good morning, my fireside collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. Firesides. Ooh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What you all got going on, fire signs? What you all got going on, fire signs? Lord knows I've had to bitch all the other signs out. So what the hell do I got to bitch you all out about, huh? This is going to be for the month of August, but y'all, it's whenever it fucking resonates for you. Go by the timestamp, the title. I don't care what the fuck it is. If you're meant to see the video, you're going to be drawn to it. Okay, fire signs, what's the energy... Oh, spirit, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful fire sign collective. Spirit, what do you have for my fire signs? Fire signs, I'm not feeling anything in particular with you guys. I don't know if that's good or that's bad, but okay, we got a card here wanting to do something a little fucking weird. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's sitting on their ass. Someone's not doing something. Someone being lazy. Someone's being lazy. Get off your ass. You should be working on something. Why ain't you working on something? Well, they said put it on the top, y'all. So that is going to be part of the basis of your reading. So what the fuck ain't you working on? What ain't you working on, fire signs? The chariot in reverse. Well, obviously, whatever you're not working on has caused stagnation in your life, okay? Uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. But some of y'all are getting ready to unlock the truth, unlock a door that's been blocked. So if you're dealing with a situation where you feel like you have been stagnant, okay, we got 88 up here, Eight of Swords in reverse. You are getting ready to be released. There is going to be a feminine energy that's going to let some truth out. That's going to actually set you free, fire signs. Ooh. Ah, the seven of swords in reverse. Ten of cups. With the nine of pentacles. Some of you... <coughs> Some of just kept you in a situation for the money. This person doesn't want to be single. This person doesn't want to have to get off their ass and create for themselves. So they have just been very deceptive and sneaky of, uh, in keeping uh, you put or fire signs. This could be you doing this to somebody else. But that gig is up. That gig is about to fucking be up. Spirit saying not no more. Eight of Pentacles here in reverse with the moon in reverse and the five of Pentacles. The lies and deception are coming out in the situation, which could very well lead to a separation. Okay, work love life on this, guys. Uh, if something wasn't working with a person, a situation, hell, maybe it is your fucking job. I don't know your story. Uh, truth's going to come out and going to help you uh, freaking go and do what you need to do. For some of you, this could be filing paperwork. That building there always reminds me of an old school uh, courthouse. Truths are coming out. Things are being revealed. And some of you are going to realize that someone was just making excuses why they couldn't work because they just wanted to take from you. Uh, present energy here, the chariot in reverse, the tower, and the sun. Where there was no movement, spirit's going to come in and kind of uh, uh, blow that situation out of the water. So someone could go get happiness. Someone could go get free. You know, uh, if someone was holding off making a decision to leave a situation or leave a person... It's like, Spirit's going to bring that tower. Something's going to happen here, okay? Something's definitely going to happen here. And someone's going to have to, uh, seriously, well, they're not really even going to have a choice. When this tower moment comes, it's going to set this person free. It's going to hurt like hell, but at the end of the day, they're actually going to be happy. You know what I mean? Fire signs. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, with the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is going to be a feminine energy that is going to unlock the door and set you free. Now, for some of you, this Queen of Swords, this could be an attorney. This could be a friend uh, coming in to, to let you know what the hell is up. Giving you assistance, helping you out. This Queen of Swords energy, she means business. 
Uh, she's going to unlock them uh, chains that's been on that door keeping you stuck. And she's going to cut them uh, ropes that have been binding your hands, preventing you from leaving a situation. 88 could mean something for you guys. We got five here. 58. <sighs> Whatever's going to go the fuck down, y'all, it's going to go the fuck down. If you were stagnant in the past, you're not going to be stagnant anymore. If you were dealing with somebody that just kept making excuses why they couldn't take care of themselves, why they couldn't work, why they couldn't do this, why they couldn't do that... All them lies are going to come out. The truth's going to come out. Shit's going to be revealed. So someone's going to take some action. And the action's going to come. This is going to come from above. Right, guys? This is spirit stepping in and blowing a situation out of the water. To basically bring someone happiness and set them free. I'm not wanting this to Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. So for some of you, this was a married situation. Someone's gonna open up that door, set you free so you can so you can get your divorce. You can get what you want done. For a lot of you, this could very well be a, a, a female lawyer or a female judge. Someone's going to uh, open up them doors and restrict anything that has had, had you bound. Because that tower moment's coming, which is going to set somebody free, y'all. From any lies and deception in the past, someone that was just wanting to use and abuse you because they didn't want to do the work on their own. This could be someone trying to manipulate you for your money, right? They were just all the time taking your money. Spirit's going to come in here at the Hierophant card. Well, we got the Hierophant there, and we got the devil in reverse. This is a battle between good and evil, Okay. Spirit's going to let you see what you need to see. Spirit's going to let you know what you need to know so you can release from this very toxic energy here. Whoever had you bound and stuck, God's going to say, uh, -uh not no more. Watch this. God's like, hold my beer. I got to create a tower moment for a minute, okay? Got to go do some work. And whatever the hell's going to transpire in this tower moment, it is going to set somebody free. I've got to be free. I've got to be me. Right? This is like, uh, uh, I was thinking like a jailbreak type situation, right? Spirits busting someone out. And you see that tower moment, yo, if someone was stuck in a situation with somebody because of housing restrictions or something along that line, Spirit's going to solve that problem too. Whatever the hell this tower moment is, which is currently at play, soon to be happening, it is going to be so fucking major and beautiful that when spirit steps in, it's going to be like, uh, yeah, someone ain't going to believe it. And for some of you, this could be a female lawyer, this could be a female judge, someone working on your behalf that is going to take them locks off them doors that have kept you restricted. Some of you stuck on the inside, some of you stuck on the outside. Someone's going to get set free. This queen of swords, she means business. She ain't fucking around. She ain't dicking around with anybody. She's going to be more like, hold my wine glass. I got to take care of something first, right? This bitch means business, too. This bitch means business. Okay, fire signs. That's pretty straightforward. Hmm, what other cards you want to throw on that shit? Fire signs? I don't think Spirit wants you to know. If this is your reading, you're not supposed to know what them towers are, what that tower's going to be. Uh, you're going to know when it shows up in your life, though. You're going to know when it shows up in your situation, and Jackie's just staring me down like, oh, shit. He's sitting there talking to himself again, like, what the fuck? She like, what the fuck? What are you doing, Jax? What are you doing, girl? What's up? Why are you staring me down? Where's your brother at? Come here. Come on. Come here. 
Hey, don't look at me. I need a bath. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you give it kisses. Oh, you give it kisses. Oh. See? 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 She's like a little kid. Daddy, you're spending too much time sitting there talking to yourself. Boy, if animals could speak, we'd all be fucked, huh? <laughs> Four swords, four pentacles, and the world card, 44. That's a master number, right? Look that shit up. Through the healing comes the release. A whole new world with new horizons to pursue. I'm telling you. That tower's gonna come and set somebody free. Allow them to get the healing that they need and to release from whoever or whatever has been keeping them. Again, with the healing card here. Two cards of healing. Okay? Aquarius energy here. Um, Y'all could definitely be dealing with an air sign. The star with the higher offense. Yeah, this is divine coming in to help a person heal, to help a person get the healing that they need. And y'all ain't gonna see this shit coming with eight of wands in reverse. When this shit falls, you know, when divine falls into play, when God says, hold my fucking beer, I gotta take care of something for a minute, right? You don't know how the hell this shit's gonna transpire. 44 can mean something. Maybe you're seeing 44. Maybe you are fucking 44. I don't know your story. What's this whole new start going to be about? The Fool in Reverse and the King of Cups. With the Ten of Wands in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you are not supposed to know this, guys. So you're not going to get an extensive reading. The Moon here. When this shit goes down, when 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 the dominoes start to fall and things fall into place, you're not going to know when and where and how this is even going to transpire, okay? This is divine at play. This is all that shit. Remember when I tell you all, uh, Earth Angel's working on your behalf. If this is your energy or someone you're dealing with, right? You got to trust. This is also trusting your intuition. This is also you knowing when you need to do the healing and when you need to set yourself free, right? Spirit can step in on your behalf, but at the end of the day, you still have to be the one to do the fucking legwork, right? Spirit can put the, the roadblocks in your way and help guide you in the path you need to go, but you're still the one that's got to do the fucking work. You got to do the healing and you got to do the releasing. You got to trust your intuition. What do I keep telling you? You will know when spirit doesn't want someone around you. You will know who you need to build with and who you need to put your guard up against. You're going to know that, guys. It's going to be just instinctual. Especially if you've been lazy and complacent in the past, not wanting to do the work, not wanting to trust your gut, not wanting to trust the writing that's been on the fucking wall for hell and ever and your dumb ass just sitting there avoiding it. Acting like you can't fucking read when you know full damn well the writing's been on the wall. Someone just wanting to stay in the dark on shit, right? They like the shadows. Uh, this could be someone dealing with their shadow work, most definitely. Because we got the world card here, the fool in reverse, and this king of cups. This is an energy that is very foolish with how they, uh, their love language. They're very foolish with how they, uh, uh, show their emotions. They're very foolish in the choices that they make when it comes to love, when it comes to their emotions. Spirit's going to wise someone up to that. Quit being a dumbass. Learn to love yourself. Then you can love others, right? Release the burdens. As soon as you release the burdens, then spirit can come in and do its job. Some of you may know that as soon as you let this person go or you let this situation in your life in, that the abundance is going to follow. Opportunities are going to follow. And you're going to be freed of any restrictions. But someone just keeps staying stuck. They keep staying stuck because they want to say, I'm a fool in love, but I love them. I love them. You know what? You can love somebody all you want, but if they're toxic as fuck, How does that work? Where has that gotten you now? If this is your story, where has that gotten you now? 
looking like a fucking fool. Heartbroken. Definitely heartbroken here with the four swords showing up, right? You all the time having to heal yourself because you're in a toxic situation that doesn't serve you any good. So you don't feel safe. You don't feel comfortable. There's definitely no growth because spirit's going to bring that in because someone don't want to trust their intuition. Someone don't want to do the shadow work. I'm telling you. Someone ain't going to have much of a fucking choice. Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, then the Queen of Swords pop out on your behalf. Someone's going to put an end to any deceptive energy that's been around you. Any deceptive energy that's been keeping you stuck. Any deceptive energy that has been trying to work against you. A Queen of Swords again. For some of you, this could be an attorney. Some of you, this could be a judge. This is a feminine energy that's stepping in on your behalf to put an end to some bullshit. If someone thought they were going to sneak away with, with whatever the hell you had, that ain't going to work. Someone's putting an end to some shit. But someone's going to have to quit being a fucking fool when it comes to their emotions. Okay? Get rid of the poker face. Uh, quit making dumbass decisions based on false feelings, based on false emotions, based on falseness. I love this. I love this because you know what? This is when you just got to do you, boo. Live in the light. Keep moving forward. And whatever is going to transpire is going to transpire. When spirit steps in and says, hold my beer, I got to take care of some business. There you go. That's going to put the ball into, into motion. When this Queen of Swords energy steps in, that's going to be the one that's going to do the releasing. That's going to be making the decisions to... Uh, to, to release any restrictions that are being put on somebody. And this is all going to happen under divine timing. It's like as soon as them dominoes start falling. One thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. Okay, fire signs, take that how that resonates. Take that how that resonates. That's a very interesting energy. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. Come on, I've been doing this on all the readings. Y'all need some fucking Jesus. Let's get angels some wings, okay? Uh, we gonna need them. We gonna need them. We gonna need them. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Good luck, fire signs. Good luck.